hello guys what is up and welcome back to my channel i know that lighting is not the greatest right now but that is because i am in the salon i am currently in like our mixing area break room area and today i'm gonna show you my station and my cabinet tour mine is the one right here so let's get started okay guys so this is my cabinet when i say i have a lot of stuff i totally mean it i bought all of this stuff when i was first starting out i saved up a lot of money so i could purchase a lot of color and everything i needed i would also like to add that i fill up on product at least once a month pretty much twice a month and i do spend a couple hundred dollars every time i have even converted my stuff to over here because i have run out of room in my own cabinet so we're gonna start on the cabinet door i actually have a little shades eq chart this is super helpful. I pretty much have all of them memorized now, but um, when I was first starting out, this was super helpful and I just keep it here just in case I need it again. So on my first shelf, I have all my toners and processing solution. I have a lot of toners. I do majority of blondes. So as you guys can tell, I have them all labeled with like a silver Sharpie and it goes from ones to about fives, sixes to eights, eights to nines, and then these are nines and tens. I definitely use my nines the most, which is why I have so many of them. And then I have clear, of course. I have a processing solution. I have another processing solution back there, and I think there's another one back there. And like I said, I keep this all super stocked because I definitely do the most blondes out of everything. I also have one of the little traveling Olaplexes. I use this in all of my lighteners. Moving on to the next shelf. So on the next shelf, I keep all of my developers for my bleach. So I have 20 and 10. I use these the most. Back here, I have some Blonde Me Schwarzkopf and some developer. I have yet to use this on a client because I used it on a mannequin head and it swelled really bad. So I'm kind of scared, but I do want to try it out really soon because I know it gets excellent lips. And then back here, I keep my LumaShine. I keep two 20 volumes for my permanent colors. So this is my collection of permanent colors. I use Joyco LumaShine. I got this in a kit when I was first starting out. It was about 150, I think dollars, maybe 180, and it came with all of these shades. In here, I have some Redken and then some more LumaShine that do not have the boxes. These are like once my boss has given to me. And then over here I have my Malibu CPRs just in case I need to do a color remover on anyone. So lastly, this is my very top shelf. I just keep a label maker for state board purposes. This is my little container with all of my bowls and brushes in it. I like to use these from our bowls. They're the bigger ones, so I like to use those for bleach. And then I have an assortment of brushes. I have a little whisk. I have a lot of Framar brushes um, that I've gotten over the time. These are Framar. I like to use these for bleach. Um, balayage brushes that I've actually never used before. And this Redken brush is actually really nice for gray touch-up. And then here's another Framar brush that is also good for grays. Back behind my little tub of brushes and bowls, I have some processing caps just in case I ever need one. I have two more developers of Blonde Me. I really need to use these and try out the Blonde Me lightener. And then I have a Guy Tang My Identity one because I have one client that I use Guy Tang on for some fun demi colors. That is pretty much everything in my cabinet. I do keep all of my lighteners up there. These are actually all my unopened ones. So this is all for my cabinet. Now moving on to my station. Okay, so this is my station. I am now realizing how boring my station looks. I need to get on that. And attached to my station, I have this little cabinet that holds all of my stuff. So let's start with everything that's on top of my station. So I'm covering up my license legally in the state of California. It has to be displayed on your station. So here mine is. I also have this little plant right here. I do not know what kind this is, but it's super cute and it's in a little Halloween planter. And this is not my scrunchie. It's actually a client that left it. I don't know why it's there, but it is. And then I also have my business cards right here for people to take. Over here, obviously, usually I have my curling irons and my straighteners and stuff like that, but since I am not working today, I have them all away. I also have this little pop-up that gives people the idea that we do hair extensions, and I actually get a lot of questions about that when people see it, so this is a really good thing to have at your station. 
And then I also have my trusty Dyson blow dryer out. This is my baby. It actually doesn't fit in one of these, so I just have him laying right here, but yes, I love him. On top of my little cabinet, I have some leaves and some little pumpkins. My boss put these up here, actually. So on the top shelf, I have a lot of product, like some hairspray, some detangling spray, some smoothing balm, and then obviously like stuff I've never tried before that I would like to try. Back here, I have some sample products of the Joyco Defy Damage. I've never used any of this stuff, and honestly, I don't even know why it's in here because I'm not going to try it out on a client. I'd rather try it out on myself. I've heard great things about this, and I've actually seen them demo it at a hair show. Over here, I have some color stain remover wipes from Redken. I also have the From Our Color Killer wipes. I also love these. Back here, I have some disinfectant for my shears. It's just spray disinfectant. So that is all for the top shelf. The middle shelf holds a lot of my tools. Right here, these are extra business cards. I just keep right there just in case I run out. In the first tub, I have a lot of like my shears and my combs and my clips. So I have all my combs, my clips, my razor, my shears. Um, a lot of stuff is in the quads right now, but this is what I have out. And in the second one, I have a lot of my brushes. So I have some from our detangling brushes and then my other round brushes are in the quads, but this is what I have in here right now. I keep these in these little tubs for skateboard, but also they're just super accessible. I got these at Target and they're easy to open and close. So if I need anything out of there, it's not a hassle. So my bottom shelf just happens to be my favorite. It is home of literally all of my Fremar products. Right here I have my backwards bibs. I actually hauled those. I love them. Perfect for toning and making sure your capes are clean. I also have my pink paws gloves. I don't find that they keep my hands from staining. I still feel like my nails and my hands get stained, especially after doing a super dark color. And then back here, I have some foils. These are my favorite foils. They're just the pop-up foils and they're perfect for highlighting. So have more foils over here. This color is kind of hard to tell, but I have the rosé all day and it's like a pink color. The desert bloom, which is like a blue to pink color. Then I just have my basic silver ones back here, which I've actually have not used before because why would I use those when I could use the fun ones? So this drawer is definitely going to be messy, but I have a lot of my hot tools. Um, there's no real way to like store these neatly, especially this huge tool right here. This is my extra long curling iron that I never ever use. I don't know why I bought it. I have some Marcel's. And then back here is just my stuff from my Dyson. My diffuser, um, this is to clean the filter, and then this is an extra filter. And then in here I just keep my mirror, hello, and then some drapes of mine that I have, and that is pretty much it. Here is a quick little overview of my space. And that is everything for my cabinet and my station tour. If you have any more video requests salon wise or even just in my personal life, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So I was definitely standing on my tippy toes for that. Bye.